another beautiful day, another launch window, another launch opportunity for the Falcon Heavy. So I'm on my way to the venue again, uh, it's the same drill as yesterday. So we will be leaving at uh, 3 p.m. at the hotel. Then it's about an hour and a half drive over to our beautiful location where we get a high view of LZ-1 and LZ-2, the rocket launch site LC-39A. That's a bit further away. Um, so we need a zoom lens to see that uh, a bit, but the rocket should be loud enough and lighting up the sky more than enough to get a good view as well. But we are really close to the landing zones for boat boosters and that should give us a nice treat. So hopefully, fingers crossed, launch will happen tonight. Otherwise, as I said before, I have to go home tomorrow and I will miss the launch entirely. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We can't control the weather, even SpaceX can't control the weather. So we just have to wait and see what happens. So here we are at the uh, Rendezvous Hotel, where we meet up and at 3 p.m. we're going to leave for, in my case, my final launch attempt for the Falcon Heavy. Now, uh, yesterday I was told off by one of the security guards that I wasn't allowed to film in South. I was like, dude, you're gonna have like 50 YouTubers here in an hour. Um, so yeah, he never came back. Everybody was shooting video. Uh, I have no clue why they wouldn't allow that. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can find already a couple of other guys and uh, have some fun. And let's go see a rocket launch. Right, we're back at the top of the building here and we're looking at the SpaceX rocket like 20 kilometers that way um, so that means that the rocket will be up and flying for uh, close to a minute before we start hearing anything here but we're really close to the LZ1 and LZ2 so that's going to be more that way and that's only like uh, three to four uh, kilometers away and that should be uh, a really awesome sight when we see the rockets coming down or the boosters I should say and hopefully we uh, can capture the uh, double sonic booms and the simultaneous landing perfectly here. There's not a lot of folks here anymore. Uh, a lot of people went home ye uh, yesterday. So uh, we should get plenty of viewing space here. There's also the fourth floor that we can use for uh, viewing, but I'm hoping to be able to get uh, as high as possible to get the best view as possible. The 
noise is coming. The noise is coming. I hear the noise. Throw the heat off of it. So we just watched the rocket landing and all three boosters have landed. It's just amazing this feeling. Um, also with the people here, everybody was so excited. We saw the two boosters coming in. They landed perfectly. Uh, the sonic booms afterwards, they were really loud. So I hope I got some good video on that. And uh, yeah, let's go party now. So yeah, I'm really glad I stayed for this one. Uh, we also got some uh, patches to go with the successful mission and look at that sunset. I mean, it's really beautiful here. Uh, we're just enjoying the last minutes of the party and then we are heading back to the hotel. Uh, probably there's going to be a lot of traffic, so that will take a while. But then tomorrow I'll be flying home, but I'm really happy I stayed this additional day. This is something that it is indeed a once in a lifetime thing to see a Falcon Heavy go up, especially if you're living in Europe. So I'm really glad I did this, but now it's time to go home. Morning guys, I'm already at the airport, way too soon. I have about an hour left before my flight boards. And you may hear it in my voice, but uh, yeah, I have some throw takes from all the cheering last night. It was amazing to see the rocket launch and all those people. And I really loved coming here and meeting those guys. So yeah, um, but that means I have some time to kill now and I'm also flying back in economy so that means I don't have a bed to sleep in and I can't sleep sitting up straight so that means I'll be up all night. Probably do some video editing on the flight as well because on the flight from JFK to Dublin which is the second leg of my trip there should be some uh, power plugs in the seat and that will help me get this video ready for you guys as soon as possible. So yeah, waiting for the flight aboard and then we're heading back home. Really looking forward to seeing the kids and the wife again. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they'll, I've been gone for about a week where I was planning to be gone for about four days. So yeah, uh, they'll be happy to see me back again as well.
Right, we are in New York now, first stop. Next stop is Dublin, I have to get to the other terminal. It's with uh, Aer Lingus, I'm flying back home. But I have less than an hour to get on board. So it's uh, cutting it tight, we had like half an hour of delay on the flight. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. So finally arrived in Brussels, it was the worst flight ever, had to run quite a bit at JFK because my flight was late and my connection time was not long enough. More or less similar at uh, Dublin where I didn't have quite enough time, I still made it on time but right now we're here and I'm looking forward to seeing the wife and kids again so thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video.